what is up guys? We're putting my radio in today. Uh, finally got this Kenwood ordered in and shipped over. We have been running a CB radio from Australia. They're pre-tuned to their UHF channels. Uh, I believe there are 40 channels. But since Canada mostly used VHF, um, that one kind of went obsolete. And I've been thinking of getting a radio the entire time uh, because handheld really just the range doesn't cut it. So yeah, here we got the Kenwood TMV71. Um, a lot of people recommend this to me. It's a dual, dual band UHF VHF um, with a antenna. Where did the antenna go? So we're going to use the radio in combination with common UHF VHF um, antenna. I will put, try to find a link and put them down below if you are trying to find the same um, setup. Alright, let's take it up on and see what's in the box. Our user manuals in French too. Yeah, if you know me, you know I absolutely hate electrical. Nothing about those wires makes sense to me, so I'm going to need some help for installing this. And, uh, if anything, we're not really right in the whole process, please let me know and then I can correct them. All these kybers, your mounts, your panel unit, and here we go. Okay. Yeah, you can definitely put the display somewhere else if you want to hide this height this unit and then only have display out in the exposure and we have a mount so that is my Australian CV its unit is under this center console, which right now is pretty cluttered and I can't fit anything else, but I can find somewhere for the unit, for the body, and then mount the screen, just right here. So, yeah, I need to get extension table cable for here and a bracket for the head unit itself. After a little macking around, I decided to mount the whole unit on the dash, onto my dash mat. Since ordering relocation bracket will require more weight and I kind of want to get it done and save a little extra spending. The knobs kind of match my center console anyways and a dash mat will provide a nice cover so it's not too exposed. Alright, so this is the part I hate the most, wiring. Um, second battery right on this side so we're going to run the wire through driver's side and towards this guy. We'll need to cross the wires through the firewall. Since the entry point is already quite tight, we pried it open a little more and use the lead. Tip the wires to a zip tie and then try to use the zip tie as a lead to get through the firewall. Spray some lube. And just pull from the inside. Got it. There we go. Um, what I'm going to do actually, the wire is not really long enough to reach the module and to the battery so I'll extend this side so it can reach to my unit in the center console on that side. Um, it's either extend this side or the battery side um, since this cable already have a fuse and it's better to have the fuse closer to the battery so I will extend this side which is in the cabin that's technically safer I would assume. This is the other end of the cables. Um, has it's got fuse on him, um, so we'll just create a terminal on these and clip them right in there. We're out of soldering iron, and since the extension is inside a cabin, I just use crimper. A bit more labor intensive. If I ever do electrical again, soldering will be the way to go. Battery side, we will crimp it to a ring terminal. Make sure you see the wire come through. Tick, 
technically you should solder this side so it's snug in. to make it look cleaner and protection inside the engine bay. Whoops, I'm out. Um, the rest of the parts, we split tubed it and mounted along the side, just zip tied. And then it's time to position the antenna. The ARB ball bar comes with two mounting tabs on the loop, one on each side. My Australian CB took the passenger side. I didn't want to mount it on the other one since it puts the antenna right in front of my eyes side. I'll need a mounting bracket made to mount an antenna on the outer passenger side of the bar, which won't be done today. After mucking around for a good while, I gave in to the original mounting tab. For now, at least. One cool thing about this antenna, you can leave it down. Split tube for the clean look, also will be protection since the wires will be sitting around the windscreen vent. And tuck them in the slight trims. Testing power connection before we nail everything down. All right, there we go. Time to make some holes on my dash. And then technically these ears are supposed to be on the back side, but because we want it tilted down, we have to do it this way. And now, where's the dash mat on? Um, since it's hopping a little, maybe I'll cut two lines just so it's flush on top of it. Find an easily accessible spot for your mic. All right, so our finished look. Mic is just easily mounted right there and then let's turn everything on I have also changed the screen color to green just to match my dash color and then the mic just easily slides in there I am not affiliated with Kenwood whatsoever just something I need to use so hope this video is helpful to you Update on the usage, it does shake quite a bit with wind or any little bit of bump on the road, especially annoying when it's right in front of me. So eventually I will get a bracket made and move it to the passenger side.